Let's talk about Facebook Conversion API, how to test Facebook Conversion API, how to check if there are some problems, uh, how to see if uh, the duplication works, what, what, what is duplication, uh, and uh, how to deal with some common issues you might have or see. But first of all, um, testing Conversion API events, it's um, relatively simple. You can do it only inside your uh, events manager. So you cannot use uh, Pixel Helper Chrome extension to test Conversion API events. Pixel Helper will uh, report only the browser events. To test Conversion API, go to your uh, events manager. Inside your events manager, go to uh, well, first select the pixel you want to test and then go to uh, test events. And on the test server events, you have a test code. Copy, click on this code to copy it and then go back to your uh, pixel your site plugin. I'm assuming you use pixel your site. Uh, this channel is for pixel your site users mainly, so if you have um, the pixel implemented other way in, the, in a different way I don't know how to help but if you use pixel your site go with your code under the token there is a dedicated field add the code here and save okay and you can now start to browse your website normally Make sure you don't um, test your website with an excluded role. You can exclude various roles from here, like administrator or other roles. I uh, don't have an excluded role here. And ideally, you should not have an ad blocker because it will block the browser events, but not the server events. But let's um, test like this. So for example, right here, I have my uh, usual browser event. And if I go inside the events manager, I can see there is a pair of events, a browser event and a server event. And um, I have another event right now firing on my website. Let's ignore it for now. Um, and the server event is deduplicated. What it means, well, when you send the server events or conversion API events, uh, basically, you send the same event twice. You send it once uh, on the browser and the second time uh, using Conversion API. Each pair of events has a unique event ID. Well, it's not full here. As you can see, this is the ID, the same and the same. Now, this is a different ID because this is a different pair of events. Based on the name of the event and the event ID, Facebook know that these two different events, the server and the browser events, are the same, um, are tracking the same action. So the server event will be deduplicated. If for some reason the browser event is not working, let's say I have an ad blocker or something else is prohibiting the, the browser to send pixel events, the server event will work and will not be deduplicated. So, to confirm this, you can uh, install an ad blocker and then uh, browse your website. And you will see just the uh, conversion API event, or the server event, fired and captured by the testing tool. So, this is um, how the duplication, the duplicating works. Uh, now, as you can see, there is something uh, rather important here. You need a unique ID for each pair of events. If you have a cache on your website, it's possible that this cache will um, uh, save and uh, show the same event ID many, many times. To avoid this, we have something called uh, well, we have this option to use uh, Ajax to um, send events. Basically, we bypass caches using um, Ajax. You must have this uh, turned on. And 
you won't have this cache problem. If you want to disable this option, you can do it, but then you should test your website, ideally in an incognito window, and check if the uh, event ID is unique every time you reload the page. You can do it easily. Okay, I have uh, my page view event. This is the ID. I refresh the page. I look for the same event, which is the page view, and the ID should be different. If it's different every time you refresh the page, you're fine. You don't have a problem with the cache. If it's not, then you must be uh, make sure that this option is selected. So this is about uh, cache and uh, event IDs. From time to time you'll see um, errors reported by Facebook related to your conversion API events. They are visi uh, visible right here under diagnostics. I have uh, none at the moment. On our web, uh, website, we have a page about Conversion API that has um, a dedicated part about diagnostics and the most common issues we've seen with um, Conversion API events. Well, this one, for example, server setting, sending invalid match key parameters for event, it's pretty common and I think it's triggered by boots or uh, non-human traffic firing the pixel. Uh, in this instance, for example, we are not able to um, get and send uh, FB, F, uh, BP IP address and user agent, agent parameters. So we usually um, get this data for normal traffic. We use Facebook's own library to uh, find this kind of information. But if the pixel is fired by uh, not real traffic like a boot, a crawler or something else, uh, we will not have correct um, uh, match key parameters for that, those events. So you will see a warning, you can ignore it, it, it is not something relevant and, and it, it will not have a, an impact on your uh, Facebook ads. Some other, um, the other warning that you might see, same event ID received for many event instances, is somehow related to uh, the cache issue I was talking about. Make sure you test as I uh, explained and check if each event has a unique ID. Actually, each pair of server and browser events have uh, a unique event ID. If they do, you are fine. Another cause of this problem can be related to services uh, copying all your website, including the pixel code, like um, uh, Google Cache or uh, Google Translate or something else. And uh, they will copy the code, including the pixel, and they will fire the same pixel again and again. This can be uh, related to this warning. At, at least it's a, it's a, it, it's a possibility. Um, and then Another uh, warning, you can have new domain sending data and Facebook will show you the new domain that starts to send data uh, for your pixel, starts to send conversion API events for your pixel. Uh, the solution is pretty, pretty simple. Go inside your events manager, go to settings and scroll traffic permission and create an allow list. I already have a small allow list. Uh, you create yours and you tell Facebook only these domains in the list are allowed to send uh, pixel browser and uh, conversion API events. So these are the most common problem. Um, test your uh, conversion API events. Once you do it, this is important, go back to pixel your site and delete the code delete the code and save again. You don't want the test code there because um, every time um, a visitor comes on your website, uh, you will send a test event. And uh, another important thing, the code will uh, refresh itself. So if you want to test conversion API again tomorrow, you need a new code. Go to testing, refresh this page and you will see a different code here and use this code for your new testing session. Uh, 
this is it about the conversion API events testing and some of the most common issues you might have with your um, events.